Digital planning has taken the internet by storm. From printables to bullet journal style trackers to full-blown digital agendas, apps range from traditional Google Calendar to the Kanban style Trello. But some of the most popular apps include GoodNotes, ZoomNotes, and other PDF reader style apps because of their flexibility and the ability to customize your journals, notebooks, and planners. People have truly taken to the style of organization in such a fun, creative, and innovative way. It's an organizational format that I personally enjoy and use, and this month I'm coming back with another digital planning course that will help you create your own customized digital planner right on your iPad. Hello everyone, if this is your first class with me, welcome, and if you are a returning student, welcome back. I'm Jen, and I will be guiding you through this creative course. I'm a freelance graphic designer, illustrator, and educator based out of the Midwest, and I run Bella and Sophia Creative Studio. If you wanna learn more about me, you can visit me online at www.bellasophiacreative.com, and you can check out my YouTube channel, The Freelance Life. There you'll get a behind the scenes view of the work that I do as a creative freelancer and educator, as well as access to a huge library of additional free tutorials relating to art, design, and illustration. I'm a huge advocate for sharing knowledge in accessible ways, and I found that online courses and places like YouTube are great places for this. And they help me to connect to a diverse group of people who are looking to learn and grow. So digital planning continues to be a popular organizational system and apps like GoodNotes have taken app stores by storm. This month, I wanted to do an update to my previous digital planning design courses. In the past, I walked you through designing digital planners on the Affinity desktop apps, but this time around, I wanted to share how you can create a linked digital planner completely on your iPad using the Affinity Designer app and the Keynote app. Often, people get iPads in order to digitally plan, and I wanted to streamline the digital planning process by keeping the design work all on your iPad. In this class, I will share some tips, my knowledge, and help you build a digital planner that you can customize to your own needs. So what is this class about? In this class, you will learn how to create a linked digital planner in the Affinity Designer app and the Keynote app right on your iPad. I like using Affinity Designer for creating digital planners and printables because it's so easy to create multiple pages in one file using artboards. You can also create precise shapes, add text, space items evenly, add vector effects, and export the file really, really simply. While the Affinity Designer app does not have the linking function as something like Affinity Publisher might, you can link all of your pages in the Keynote app and export that final file as a digital PDF for use in your digital note-taking apps. For the ease of use, I'm going to walk you through how to design an undated planner. But if you prefer, you can always add your own dates in. This course is also a fantastic class to really hone in on your layout design skills and get more comfortable with the Affinity Designer iPad app. This is because we're basically going through the process of creating in the program and then you get a tangible product at the end that you can use after you're done. When it comes to the skills that you will learn, you will learn how to create your own digital planner in the Affinity Designer app right on your iPad, and you will learn how to link that file within the Keynote app on your iPad. We will start with the basics of understanding the toolbars and functions in the Affinity Designer workspace, and then we'll start to build out our digital planner. You will learn how to design basic layouts, create pages, customize those pages and get an understanding of the layers function in the program. We will also learn how to create tabs and how to animate them and how to link those tabs to your pages within your layout writing keynote. As we are creating our planner, we will also go over how to use some of the most commonly used tools including the shape tools, the line tool, and how to use the move and align functions in Affinity Designer. You will get a better understanding of the layer effects tools and how to add things like embossing and shadows to make your planner feel more 3D. We will also learn how to create basic buttons and icons. And then we will go over how to export a file, keeping in mind size limitations. Then we will get your file loaded into and linked up in Keynote. Finally, we will go over how to export your file for use in note-taking apps like GoodNotes. I'll show you how to load it into the GoodNotes app on your iPad, and then you'll be ready to use your digital planner. To make things a little easier, I'm going to be including the class project as an Affinity Designer template that you can edit and get acquainted with before you start your own. I will also include a PDF of the planner that you can use. Please keep in mind that the planner I designed though is for personal use only, but whatever you create in the class is yours to use as you see fit, whether you wanna launch a shop and sell your product 
or give it away or just use it for yourself. If you want to check out some of my other digital planner products, make sure you check out my shop on Etsy, Bella and Sophia Creative. You could also find me over on Creative Market with the same shop name. And I'm also gonna include some links to Pinterest boards that I created with tons of digital planner inspiration. When it comes to the tools that you will need, all you need to take this class is your iPad, the Affinity Designer app, the Keynote app, and the GoodNotes app or any other note-taking app that you prefer. I'm gonna be walking you through how to use the file in GoodNotes, but you are welcome to export that file and use it in whatever note-taking app that you choose. So for your class project, we will be creating our very own digital planner. We're gonna create an eight spread layout featuring a cover page, an index page, a quick menu, a journaling layout, a habit tracker page, a weekly spread, a monthly spread, and a daily spread. And finally, we will be linking the file using Keynote to prep it for export for use in a digital note-taking app like Notes. Make sure you share your final planner with the class in the class project gallery if you so choose to. You can opt to share the full digital planner file via a file sharing app like Dropbox, or you can just share JPEGs of your layout to write in the class gallery. So who is this class for? This class is geared towards beginners. You don't need any prior experience using the Affinity Designer app or the Keynote app as I'm going to be going over the basics to help you get comfortable using the app. I'm looking forward to seeing what you create. Let's get started.